Hey guys, happy Tuesday, January 5th, and I am on day 5 of Whole30. If, you don't, if you're not following along on my Instagram, you should be. Check the link below in the description. That's where I post um, every meal I have of the day. So, anyway, um, I haven't been showing you on the vlog really because I figure I'll just post them there. Because it could get a little bit monotonous to do that every day. So, can you say hi, Lou? She's eating lunch. Huh? Lou? 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 Say hi. You goofball. <clears throat> She's hiding from you. Oh, there I am. <laughs> this camera. I can't wait until I hopefully reach my goal this year of getting a new, better vlogging camera. Um, <clears throat> currently, I use this Nikon. I don't even know what it is. Oh. Coolpix 6900, yeah, Nikon Coolpix 6900, and um, it's not really, I mean, it's fine, it's got a flip out screen, but it's not really made for vlogging, I guess, so, anyway, it's not made for, like, good, it doesn't, it doesn't do well in low light, that's really my biggest complaint, um, the audio quality is okay, but the low light issue is really bad, like, in order to film anything, and I, I basically have to make it seem like it's daytime inside, so, so you don't get clips of the kids, like, getting up in the morning or whatever, because it's too dark. You literally can't see them. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, yeah, so we're just chilling today. Yesterday we had a friend over, so that was kind of a crazy day. I don't think I sat down all day. Um, it was a lot of fun, especially for the kids, so we really enjoyed her company. But today um, I am catching up on some editing and letting Louisa watch Lorax, so... That's really it. Kind of a lazy day. Audrey and Nichols are at school. Um, we had a little bit of an issue with the school bus this morning. Not the school bus driver's fault by any means. Um, it just happens. But we went to the bus stop, sat there for a while, and then the bus didn't come. And it turns out our bus driver got a flat tire, like, right as she pulled in the neighborhood. So we couldn't physically, like, couldn't see her. She didn't, we didn't have a visual on her. So we couldn't tell that she was sitting on the road. On the side of the road. Hey guys, I'm back and um, Audrey is home. Audrey, say hi. Hello. Hello. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Can you show them what you made? Um, you don't want to show? All right. She made a cute little snowman puppet. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I'm having for lunch. So this is my whole 30 lunch. Um, I roasted an, a small chicken in the oven. Um, like a day ago and then sorry it's, I'm dark this is better I roasted a whole chicken in the oven a day ago and now I have put it in to my ninja food processor which is the best investment if you're gonna do whole 30 because it's countertop it's easy to clean it's washable and it's you don't have to take out this big hunk of a food processor to do stuff so um, I put it in there with some pepper and onion some celery salt some of this, this is like awesome for Whole30. This is the Trader Joe's Everyday, I don't know if you can see that, seasoning. It's cool. Yeah, we'll put your dress on. Sorry, she wants her dress on. Okay, hold on, then mommy just do her lunch and then we'll put her dress on, okay? Okay. Um, and some sliced raw almonds and some of my um, homemade mayo. Yes, I made mayo, Whole30 approved. Salt, pepper, um... And then I'm going to chop it all up and then throw some um, grapes in. Mommy. Show me. It's home today. Yeah. Yep. Cool, huh? You want to put your Anna dress on? What is this? Anna dress. Anna dress. That's right. Okay. You want to put it on? Yeah. Okay, let's put it on. Yeah. Head in. Head in. Where's your head? Hey, there it is. Yeah. Can you do a twirl? Oh, do another twirl. Good twirl. No. Are you a pretty princess? Oh, so pretty. Can you twirl? Oh, are you hiding? Oh, so pretty. Hey, guys. It is almost dinner time, and we are getting settled in for the night. Sounds like we're not. What's wrong? I'm hungry. Audrey's hungry. I'm Apparently so she's hungry. starving. She's starving. Look, look, there she is. She's starving. Starving. 
Oh, somebody feed the child. She's only had two snacks. And Nicholas says, Nicholas, say hi. Hi. What are you playing with? Clip dolls? There's a lot of them, huh? Look how many we have. We have like the whole... <laughs> you hear your sister? The whole clip colony. Like sister wives. That's what we call them. We call them the sister wife colony. <laughs> Is that child back there still dying of starvation? Poor kid. She's so hungry. She's not hungry. She's so hungry. Oh, these kids. It's dinner time. Anyway, um, I want to show you the, bo the board. Let's look at the board for the day. The board says, I love you because you are so cute. That one's by Audrey. Hey guys, happy Thursday. It is um, Thursday. It is Thursday, um, January 4th, 6th. Nope, it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday. And, and we're doing school. What letter is that, Audrey? What letter are we learning today? A and the letter face A. A and the lowercase A, yeah. And then the letter face A. Not a leather face A. Letter face? I'm silly. Yeah, Lou? So the girls are doing school. Today we are doing, um, today we're doing the letter A. Right, Audrey? Yeah, we're not going to school today. We're doing school at home. That's right. Today's an at-home school day. And now, let's see, Audrey already, we went over our letter A, right? And Audrey, I'm going to take your paper out and show them. Audrey already traced her letter A's. See? Pretty good for four. And now she is going to, she is cutting out. She is cutting out um, these cookies that she colored. So, and then she's going to paste them onto paper. So a little cut and pasting activity. So today we have letter recognition. So that's like literacy. And then we have um, fine motor skills, which is cutting and pasting the cookies. No, you can't have those, Lou. Those are sharp. And Lou's eating a snack. And then we're going to do some math. We're going to count some sheep. So it's quiet time, and I um, wanted to show you. We let Louisa answer the I love you because board today. So this is what she said. I love you because hat. <laughs> I drew a little hat. I, she's two, so she doesn't really understand the concept of finishing the sentence. So... So what she did is she just said, hat, and I said, okay, and I put the hat on there, and she thought it was great. So that is our I love you because today. So um, if you're not following along, basically I bought this on the Target dollar spot. It was $1, or maybe it was $3. It might have been 3 I don't know. It was $3. And um, I'm just using chalk to update it every day. It's a little chalkboard. I just think it's a good little inspirational kind of reminder as to um, why we love each other. And I updated my calendar. I've talked about this calendar before, but now that it's the new year, maybe you're looking at a really good way to get your family organized. I love this calendar, okay? This is the mom's family calendar. And basically, everybody in our family has a column. And so I just put in everything, and it comes with these cute little stickers. So they say things like, oh, some of those are missing. Field trip, or vacation, or play date. Or they, you could put, like, the little picture if you run out of the words. And it also comes with, which I love, because it reminds me every year to update this, um, Mom's Family, the phone list. So basically, you can put um, all of your like emergency contact information, um, family con like doctor information, all that stuff on here, and then it's magnetic. Okay. It'll go right on the side of your fridge. So it's really great because then you already have it prepared. If you have a sitter or grandma, and grandpa are here, or even just for you, um, if you need to make a quick call somewhere, it also has uh 911 for emergencies and I think I thought it did but I guess not maybe they took it off or did I always like to write the um poison control line on there cuz that's important to have when you have little kids around 
So anyway, um, yeah, so I did, what's nice about this calendar is I do like a couple months in advance. So I did whatever I know for February and March, and I actually went through Nicholas's school calendar and did all of the days that he has half days or whatever for the rest of the year. So, and it's got this cute little pocket at the bottom, and I just keep, um, like, markers and stuff in there. Of course, if your kids, my kids don't really know they're there, so... But if your kids do, you might want to just not keep them there. Um, the only thing I wish it had was a better pocket for the stickers. That's the only thing. But anyway, I'll Amazon link that below because I'm telling you, it's really reasonably priced. And this is my third year using it, and it is a lifesaver. Like, I literally write anything that is on our schedule on there, even if it's something that's regularly scheduled like Audrey's school, just because it's easy for someone to walk in and know, just in case, I can't be here. You never know what could happen, and they know what is going on that day. So, moms, caregivers, dads, grandmas, parents, I don't know, everyone should try this calendar out. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Yay, it's almost the end of the week. Um, I have a crazy day today. We have um, like our normal stuff, and then we have my father-in-law's retirement party tonight. So... Um, I am prepping things for Grandma to come, and then our former nanny is coming to watch the kids, um, which they're really excited for. So I don't have to prep anything for her, really, because she's so good at her job. So is Grandma, but anyway. Yeah, and Lou still isn't dressed for the day. Say hi! you silly. Show them your new dolls. Where are your dolls? Where's your Anna and Elsa? I do Yeah? 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 Show them. Can you get them? Yeah. Who's that? Who is it? Anna, is it? Anna. Anna, yeah. Look, Anna. Where's Elsa? She's in, in the playroom. Yes. There she is. Next to your next to the old Elsa. Okay. So, if you didn't see my Instagram, um, it's official. Uh, the Hasbro Disney Princess line is out. The Mattel is all being clearanced in your local toy stores, Targets, everywhere. Um, if you don't know, Disney sold the license so to Hasbro. Now, Hasbro already did their Star Wars line, and so um, it just made sense, I guess. I guess Mattel is more focused on Barbie. And that didn't make Disney very happy, so they decided to um, <clears throat> they decided to sell the license to Hasbro instead, who is basically like Mattel's. Well, right now, now they are definitely Mattel's direct competitor in the toy industry. So, um, want to see <laughs> what they look like? That's Belle, but we'll look. We're gonna put these side by side. Okay, so look, here is the old Mattel version of Elsa. And here is the new Hasbro version. Elsa. Hold on, Mommy's talking about it real quick, okay? Hold on. As you can see, the old has more of like a Barbie skin tone color. And the new has more of like um, an Elsa color, I would say. Her head, though, I'm a little thrown off. Can you guys see her head? It's quite large. Doesn't it look large? I don't know. She's totally different looking. I mean, I almost feel like she's kind of monster high looking. Let's see if I can get better light. Here we go. Look. See? And then here's the old one. So side by side. Let's get them kind of facing each other. Tell me what you think. Let's see. What we can... I don't know. I'm not a fan. I'm really not a fan. I don't think they're terrible. I just think that um, <clears throat> it's going to take some getting used to for those of us that are used to the old look, which is more Barbie. And if you grew up with just Barbies, then that is the look that you're used to in that type of doll or toy. Um, but I can tell you that Louisa loves the new ones. I think they're like more almost like cartoony. I don't know if that's I mean a thing, but I would say they're more like that and more like... Um, so they're probably going to appeal more to the younger crowd and less to the Barbie crowd. So, 
I, I know that was, I think that was the goal, was to differentiate, which is what Mattel was not doing. They were not doing enough differentiation between Barbie and the Disney Princess line. Hey guys, oh, I gotta fly away. Oh, it's running for its life, it's not just flying away. Okay. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Woo, woo, thir Thursday? No, Friday. <laughs> I was thinking Friday in my head. Happy Friday. Woo, woo, Friday dance. Can you do your Friday dance? Oh, yeah, it's Friday. Oh, Audrey, no. Stinker. Louisa, can you do your Friday dance? Do you have a Friday dance? No. Oh, okay. What are you playing with? Tissue. What are you playing with? Clip dolls? Elsa? Yeah? Oh, yeah? Are you not talking? You're whispering? Yeah. <laughs> She's silly. Um, we're just playing. We're having a lazy Friday. And we are um, just hanging out. We're watching some Snow White. Which the kids love, like, Snow White dolls. But they don't love the movie. I don't blame them. The quality is... Snow White! Even though it's digitally remastered. So, Audrey was watching it for a bit. They like it when they sing, like hi ho, hi ho, that song and stuff, but otherwise they're not super into it. Which is kind of good because I like to put something on just for background noise, but doesn't like totally suck them in so that they play and stuff instead. So, actually works out. Anyway, um, it is day 8, whole 30. I have made it more than a week. Um, last night I did have my father-in-law's retirement dinner that was thrown by the company that he's retiring from and it was at a really nice um, steakhouse here and so um, I knew that I was gonna probably have a few things or at least a few bites of things that were not Whole30 compliant which I did. I had a couple um, fried calamari, I had some um, crab and lobster cakes but they seemed to be like all crab and lobster. I mean this place was a really nice restaurant. And I did have a mojito. So those are the things. I did not have any dessert. Sugar is really the big thing I'm trying to get rid of with this. Um, I'm trying to kill my, kind of detox, like kill my sugar cravings. So um, I did stay away from, from anything that actually had sugar in it. So, like dessert. I mean, there were some. There was like a molten chocolate cake. There was, but I didn't. I didn't eat it. So that, I, I did pretty good. And then we're back on track, back to the normal food today. Anyway, um, I didn't get a chance though to show you yesterday's board before I switch it for today. So yesterday, Nicholas said, I love you because you make breakfast. And look, this is my little egg. So today is Audrey's turn. So let's see what Audrey's going to want to say. Audrey, what is your I love you because? What is something you love something that you love because you love I, us because I love you because Mr. Bear you love you because you because I got you Mr. Bear yeah okay so that's the one we're gonna write down Mr. Bear where is Mr. Bear <laughs> right there on the couch I'll go in this way it's and who is that no, who's that in your hand? Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. Whoa, he flies. That's Mr. Bear. Oh, I see. Mr. Bear. Oh, no, Mr. Bear. Not nice. Anyway, so we're having a fun Friday. We're just playing. Um, I did film a video for you, though. There might have been some crazy background noise with the kids, but I did film a video. Look at this. She's crazy. Oh, Mr. Bear! I did. I missed him. Can I try it again? Oh! I missed again. Oh, we don't want. We don't want him. We don't want him to actually hit the camera, though, right? Oh, it was I close. I missed again. <laughs> no, Mr. Bear, no! Oh! <laughs> he got it. He got it. All done. Don't break the camera. Anyway, I did film you guys a video. I filmed a um, Target homeschooling haul video. So um, click the eye in the sky to look at that because that'll be up. You're perfect in the perfect way. You're perfect and I hope you stay. Your goofy little self eternally. Whoa. I'm weird like you. I 
know it's true I'm in the clouds up there with you You think you're flawed, but wouldn't you agree? You're perfect for me